In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Bootstrap 4 Carousel in Angular 5. I'm going to use Bootstrap 4 Initial Set for Angular 5. This set is explained by another video titled How to Set Up Bootstrap 4 Environments for Angular 5. So if you have not watched the video, please watch it at first. At first, we need to download Bootstrap 4 Initial Set. In your command line, type git clone https slash slash gethub.com slash otsis slash ng5 bootstrap initial dot git Next change into the project directory. Then inch tall the project by typing npmi. I means inch tall. It'll take some time. After the inch tallation, we are going to start Visual Studio Code which is popular for Angular developers. Then open another command line in VS Code by typing Ctrl plus at key. In this command line, type ng serve for starting local server. In your browser, open http slash slash localhost 4200. If you find bootstrap buttons, inch tallation is ok. Back in the VS code, type ctrl and c and y and return to stop the local server. Next we are going to inch tall carousel component. Back in the browser, open ng bootstrap home page. Its URL is https slash slash ng bootstrap.gethub.io. In this page, click demo button. In demo page, select carousel in right components panel. Copy HTML source code at first. Back in the VS Code, open src slash app directory in the left panel. Then click app component.html file. Delete the default HTML and paste the copied HTML. Save this file by typing Ctrl and S. Next we are going to check TypeScript source code. In the browser, type carouselbasic.ts tab. You will find that no additional setting is needed. Back in the VS code, type ng serve in the command line. Again back in the browser, open http slash slash localhost 4200. You will find carousel. But something is wrong with it. Its image is not centered and forward icon is not displayed. We are going to modify these.
Back in the VS Code, open app component.html file. We are going to add container class and three columns in one row. The ratio of the width is 1, 10, 1. In its middle column, we are going to insert carousel HTML. Save this file by typing Ctrl and S. Back in the browser, you will find the centered images. Alright. Next we are going to edit configuration data. Open again ng bootstrap carousel page. You will the title of global configuration of carousel. Copy its HTML source code. Back in the VS code, open app component.html file. Paste the copied HTML in the middle column. Next in the browser, copy import TypeScript statement in carouselconfig.ts. Back in the VS Code, open app component.ts file. Paste the copied TypeScript. Next in the browser, Copy Provider's Statement Back in the VS Code Paste the copied TypeScript In the browser, copy constructor statement. Back in the VS Code. Paste the copied TypeScript. Save this file by typing Ctrl and S. In the browser, you will find the new carousel. Back in the VS Code, we are going to change some parameters. At first, we are going to change interval. Its initial setting is 10 seconds. It is a little bit long. So we are going to change 2 seconds for testing. In the browser, you will find the new carousel. It seems that new data is not reflected.
Back in the VS Code, we are going to restart the local server. The interval seems to be ok. You will find that the last image is displayed for long. It is because the Paramata wrap is false. So the first image is not displayed after the last image. We are going to modify the parameters. Change wrap parameter to true. Change keyboard parameter to true. This parameter enable to change images by keyboard. Save this file by typing Ctrl and S. In the browser, you will find the new carousel. Images are changing in 2 second. And after the last image is displayed, the first image is displayed. And if we click left arrow or right arrow key, images are changed immediately. Alright. Thank you for watching.